Good evening, YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I wanted to do a video on the pros and cons of a 3D background. Um, my pros and cons are just for my background because it's only, it's, it's only the second one that I've had, but both that I've had have been from Universal Rock. So I'll do it on this, on this background, what I think the pros and cons are. This is the Texas wall from Universal Rock. So that's what I have. Let me just take a quick look at it there. Uh, for me, the pros do outweigh the cons, but there are a few cons, so I'll get into that. Pros for me, number one is the look. I think that's why anybody would get it. The, the, you know, that that's the number one selling point. In any of these is is the look. You know, Universal Rocks makes a really nice one. You know, it's it's really nice, detailed texture. You can see, you know, nothing's repeating. It's kind of a a new design the whole way through. You got some some caves some inlets at the bottom there so it's got some nice texture i think it's 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 very realistic in my opinion uh, it, it looks better in person than it does in the video um, as i think most of these do so that's a pro for me you, let's get you a quick side view here pardon me the glass over here is dirty uh, the water's kind of making it a little bit funky there you can see it's got nice texture to it very realistic uh, another pro, um, obviously you can see it hides like your filter intakes. I've got two FX6s and a Sun Sun canister filter. Um, there's one input down there. Everything else is behind the background. There's where it returns. There's a return up there. And my other FX6 you know, is down there. So obviously you don't see anything else. I don't have my heaters behind there. A lot of people do that. I don't. Um, just my personal preference. I felt like the warm water was kind of getting trapped behind the background. Um, another pro, it, I feel like the background with all the detail, intricate work, it's a good place for beneficial bacteria to grow. It's just another nice surface for it uh, to thrive on. Um, so in my opinion, that's, that's a pro. Another one, and some people might think of this as a con, but I do not. If you overfeed your fish, your background will turn brown or algae green really quickly. Why is that a pro? I, I think it makes, it's kind of almost a, a good indicator that you are overfeeding. So it kind of, uh, it's like a self check for you. Whenever I get a new fish and add them in here, I feed everybody a little heavier for the next couple days. I feel like it keeps them from harassing the new guy. Every time I do that, that background turns pretty brown. You can see just a little bit of it there. Um, I feel like that's natural looking and I like that level there. But when you overfeed it, man, it, it can take over your background real quick. So you'll know if you're overfeeding, in my opinion. So I think of that uh, as a pro. You see the brown has a, doesn't really do much or any kind of algae if you, you know, are feeding at proper levels there. Um, the fish seem to love to pick at it. Uh, my plecos love climbing on it, you know, sticking to it. Um, it, pre it presents caves at the bottom that my plecos stay in during the day. They seem to, to enjoy that. So that's my pros. Um, so what do I think are the, you know, the negatives of this background? Number one for me, this tank is a 220. Pardon me, I'm walking all around here, but I'm trying to make sure you get plenty of views. This tank is a 220, but with this background, I only have about 190 gallons of actual swimming space, maybe even a little bit less. You can see from the side, this is the thick end. You probably can't see, but... On this side, it is seven inches thick from the back of my wall, from the back of the aquarium out into the aquarium. You can see as it goes down the line, it thins out, kind of just, it's different the way it goes. This end is by far the thickest with this cave. So behind that wall, behind this background, is about 30 gallons of water. You know, you still get the benefit of you know, more water, easier to filter, the water stays cleaner. You still get that benefit, but obviously your fish don't get the benefit of that extra swimming space. I can kind of show you from the top. I part, sorry, it's dark in here, so I don't know if you can see. You can see right here is my water. Right there is the back of the aquarium. So you can see from here to here, I'm losing that. And all the way down, you can see it gets thinner. It opens up a bit. So all behind there, it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a good 30, 35 gallons of water. So I view that as a con, but it was worth it to me. Another con for a nice background is is going to be the price of it um, this background was 500 bucks at universal rocks 
Um, I've gotten one before that was a thin one. It was only like a half inch thick or three quarters inch thick. That one was was only 200, but you know, it didn't give me the detail I wanted. So you can go cheaper and have something that takes up less space from Universal Rock and it still looks really nice. So it's not like this is the only option you have to go with a wall that stands out this far, but they're expensive. Uh, what can help you? Um, I don't know if any of you subscribe to Jay Wilson's channel. I'm sure quite a few of you do. Uh, he has a code he will give you. If you watch his videos, he gives it out in the videos for 15% off anything from Universal Rocks. Uh, I did that. I saved about 75 bucks. I could give you that code right now, but I don't feel like that's fair to Jay. Um, to get that code, you guys need to go over and watch his videos, even though I, probably most of you already know what the code is and have watched his videos in the past. But I don't want to give that out on my channel. You know, that's his information, and I'm sure he, he spoke with them to earn uh, his subscribers getting that 15% off. So, yeah, check out his videos. You can get 15% off, save, save you some pretty good money, especially if you get an expensive background. So let's go through the rest of my cons here. I'm going to try to pick, pick the pace up here. Fish can sneak behind that. Smaller fish, there's a small gap. Oh, I didn't cut it perfectly up on the right. Once they get behind there, they're hard to get out. Um, it's not the easiest thing to install just because it's pretty thick rubber or whatever the material is, so you might need two people to do it. You kind of unroll it, um, and if you let it go too quickly, it'll scratch the front of your tank because it's, it's a rough surface. Another thing due to that it is a rough surface is if your fish are frightened, like if you turn your lights off instantly or something, and they swim into that really hard, they can scratch themselves for sure. Or if you're netting a lot of fish out, make sure you have a big net just so you can kind of get them in one quick swoop and you're not freaking everybody out. I had to chase one fish around for about five minutes to net him a while ago, and I had three other fish that were scared due to that and ran into that background and scratched their eyes up a bit. So um, I don't know that they're all this rough, but you do run that risk. So keep taking a look around. And just in general, if you do order one, make sure you give them the measurements of the inside of your tank. Don't say, you know, you've got a six foot long tank. Don't say, you know, it's six foot long, that's what I need my background to be. Because it's hard to cut this on your own. So you want to actually get a tape measure inside your tank when you're presenting measurements to whatever company is going to you know, make your background for you. It's harder than you think to cut that material and not make it you know, look a little rough. And you also, just due to the, on my background, due to the amount of water behind it, you do need something back there, be it a UV sterilizer. Or in my case, I have, um, my sun sun canister filter is solely for filtering back there. I have the... The intake is behind, right back there, and it spits it out right up there, so it keeps the water in the back pretty fresh. If you don't do that, it can get a bit stale back there. So that's my pros and cons. I'm sorry this went a longer, a little bit longer than I expected. I just wanted to make sure I addressed everything. Um, if anyone else has anything, please add it in the comments. Maybe, maybe I'm there's something else I could be doing better with mine. So. Uh, I try to get around to everything I could think of on this, and that's that's what I came up with. Overall, in the end, no question for me, I'm happy that I got it. The pros for me definitely outweigh the cons. But I can understand for some people, you know, you get a big tank because you want to have big fish and you want to have a lot of swimming room for them, and this does cut that down significantly. I mean, if you wanted 220 gallons worth of swimming space and wanted one of these backgrounds, you'd probably have to get a 265 because they can take up some space if you get this style. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me not let me go, let me know if you guys think it was or not, or if you've got any other ideas. Thanks for watching.